In this video, I'm gonna build everything needed to create new blog posts on the website. The only thing that users will need is to be authenticated. If you're authenticated, you'll be able to create blog posts. So just like uh, when we built our user, our account app, and we wanted to create or register new users, we're gonna build a form for creating new blog posts. So I'm right clicking on blog, creating a new file, I'm gonna press Control S, and I'm gonna name this forms.py. And inside here, we need to do from Django import forms and from blog.models import our blog post model. Now I want to create that form. So I'm going to go class. I'm going to name it create blog post form. It's going to extend the forms.model form. And I need to do class meta tell it what to model the form after. So it's going to be after a blog post and the fields that we're interested in you know, are the, uh, are the title, whoops, are the title field and the body field. And then of course the image. So these are the only things that users can actually change. So if we look at the model, we have all these fields. The only one that the user can actually set themselves is title, body, and image. The others will be set automatically or through some, some function or some process. So I'm pressing control S to save that. And next I'll work on the view. So I'm going to go into views.py inside of our blog app and let's work on our create blog view. First I'll set a context variable like we always do. Next, I'll set a user variable. So user equals request dot user. And now if not user dot is authenticated, if the user is not authenticated, I want to return redirect to a page that we are going to create later in this video named must must authenticate. So if a user is not authenticated, uh, right away when they visit this page, they're going to get redirected to this page that's going to tell them that they need to authenticate to create a blog post. Now I'm going to import the blog form. So I'm going to come up to the top here, say from blog.forms, import that create blog post form that we just created. And from account.models, import account, because we'll also need that in just a second here. So the form is going to be equal to the create blog post form. I'll do request dot post or none. So it's either going to be a post request or it's going to be nothing at all. Uh, I'm going to need to request files. Uh, this will be new to you. We haven't done anything that requests files yet. So because they're going to be able to upload an image, we need to add this request.files. Did I type that right? Files uh, parameter to the form. So request files or none. If the form is valid, you should, should be pretty familiar with that already. We want to do some things and save it. So this is going to be a little different than the way we previously saved objects in a view from a form. So if we look at how we did it here in like the registration form, uh, I didn't I didn't have this extra variable object. So I'm going to talk about this in just a sec here. So form dot save commit equals false. So that's going to create the form after all the fields have been validated. The reason I need to do this is because I need to set the author object to the blog post because that's not going to get set by default. So this is why I need to do form.save commit equals false. So objects.filter, I need to get the user. So email equals, I can just say uh, user.email and I want to grab the first, the first uh, item in that query set because by default this will return a query set or sorry, this will return a query set. I need to call first to actually get the first item in that list. There should be only one item, so I have to call dot first. Then I want to set the author, so object.author equals author. Then I want to save, so object.save, that'll save that blog post into the database. And after that, I want to just reset everything. So I want to set the form equal to a brand new blog post form. So this, it's a little different, you know, when we did it in the account view, we just saved the form right away. But we saved the form right away because we didn't need to set any properties before we saved it. Because remember, if we look at our blog model, oops, that was the account model. If we look at the blog model, the author field is required. It's a, it's a, it's a foreign key relationship to the accounts table. So I need to get that author, set that author, and then save it before, I need to set the author before saving it. Basically, that's what I need to do. Uh, the last step is passing the form to the view. So context form equals form and of course, passing the context down here. Now let's build that must authenticate view. So this view is gonna be inside of the account 
app because it has to do with authentication. I'm going to go into account. I'm going to create a, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to save that. So this is going to be must authenticate.html. Inside here, I want to do the same thing I do in all of my other templates. So I need my extension by uh, base and of course, end block content. So same kind of thing we've done before. I don't need the static. And now inside here, I want to build that must authenticate screen. So class container, and then inside the container, I'm gonna have another div. And this div will be class D flex, flex column. And then inside here, I just wanna P, whoops, I don't know what I did there. Oh, that was weird. Inside here, I wanna P tag. This is gonna be class margin auto to center it. I want a message that says must authenticate to view this page. Uh, the reason I'm not saying you must authenticate to create a blog post is because I want to reuse this must, must authenticate HTML screen. I want to be able to reuse it basically in any other screen in our website at whenever I need to tell a user that they need to authenticate to do something. So I'm, I'm going to be as generic as possible. Now I want to create another P tag. So I'm copying that. And inside this one, I want to say, I want to add a couple URLs that they can follow. So this one is going to be to register. So whether with or not registered, then they're going to want to register. So URL.register, and I'll just type register here. I'm going to copy that line, and this one's going to be login. So register or login, I'll say, and then I'm pressing Control S to save that. So if for some reason they visit a page they're not supposed to, I'm going to redirect them to the must authenticate screen and uh, they'll see this. You must authenticate to view this page, either register or log in. Now I need to build a view to actually inflate this. So I'm going into accounts, into the views.py inside of accounts. I'm gonna create a new view, must authenticate view. I just need the request and return, return render the request, the template, which is going to be account.must authenticate.html and the context is nothing. I don't need to pass anything. So I'm pressing control S to save that. And the last step is going to be adding this to urls.py. So I'm going into my site, going into urls. I'm going to import the must authenticate view and I need to add a URL for this. So these are also out of order. I'm going to, I'm going to organize these alphabetically. So first will be First will be the, the nothing. Then we have admin, account, blog, uh, register is going to be the bottom, uh, log out and log in. So log in, log out. And this one's going to be must authenticate. So it goes the al alphabetically M comes after L. So I'm going to create a new one right here. This will be must authenticate. And then I want to pass the must authenticate view here and must authenticate for the name because in view in the uh, blog view, we have must authenticate being passed to the redirect. So that's what we need to pass right here as the name. All right, so control S to save that. And hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I think we are ready to go. So if I refresh the website, looks like we have a problem um, from blog.models imports blog post. Okay, so that's that should be import blog post import blog post. So save that, go back to our website, refresh. There we go. So I'm not logged in. So I expect now if I go to the create post page, I'll be redirected. looks like redirect is not defined. So I haven't imported that. So render and we need redirect. So I'm saving that going back to the website, refreshing. Perfect. That was redirected to the must authenticate screen. So now I can either register or log in. I'll just log in. Now I'm going to try it again. And there we go, we, we were at the screen where we would create a new post. Now the last step is building this uh, create post kind of HTML. So I'm going into our blog app, going to templates, blog, create blog.html. And I don't feel like typing this out, so I'm just gonna copy paste it from the source code. So just go to the branch for this video and go to create blog.html and copy paste this in. It's very simple, it's nothing that you haven't seen before, it's just a basic form. We have a post method. Uh, this is important. Remember to add this ENC type or ENC, ENC type that, uh, if you're uploading images, you need to have that. It's, I don't, I don't know exactly why. I mean, you could Google it, but you need to have this. Just make sure you have that. And then we have our different fields. We have the title, we have the content, which is the body, and we have the image for uploading. Uh, this is, and notice that the input here is a type of file. 
and we have accept image dot slash star and all of these are required 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 uh, but that's it there's nothing else really surprising here it's just like a basic form got some basic css nothing too fancy so now i'm going to refresh that page and there's our form for creating a blog post so let's give it a test i'll just say installing python in 2019 this is how you install python and i'll just do a bunch of random stuff i'm going to choose an image i just made or I'll actually use the image for for the um for the course because i have the uh, coding with mitch web development course let's see thumbnails it'll be the first one so upload that and looks like it was successful we didn't get any kind of a success message or anything like that but let's go to the admin so go to blog posts and there's our installing python in 2019 blog post uh, and everything looks good there's the image there's the content or the body and then the title so everything is working as we expect the last thing I want to test before we move on is I want to make sure that the image is being deleted. So I'm going to go into media CDN and the image that was just added for that blog post is, um, is this installing Python 2019 image. So if I go to the website and I was to delete this, I expect that image to be removed and it was. So now I'm, I'm confident that everything at this point is working as we expect and we can move on to the next video. So in the next video, I'm going to create a view for viewing the individual blog posts and also add a list of blog entries that each user has written in their profile. So I want to create, so I'll try to word that differently. Basically what I'm going to do is you'll be able to go to your profile down here. There's going to be a list of blog posts that you've created and I'll be able to click on them and view that blog post. And then later you'll also be able to update that blog post.